This is exactly right. I'm Barbara Gray, and the first paramedic to put a blanket around somebody's shoulders must have felt like a fucking baller, yo. <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and if you can't handle me at my durst, you don't deserve me at my biscuit. Oh, Whoa. yes. <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and I'll be impressed when you stop calling them plus-sized. What? Oh, <laughs> goddamn and right. this is Lady <laughs> to Lady. <laughs> and you keep a secret, and neither can we. <laughs> we got Barbara Brandy. Show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby, it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies, ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Barbara. I'm Brandy. I'm Tess. And uh, we've got a show tonight in San Francisco. If oh you're there, oh, get in your Bart. Get in your Bart. Get in your get your butt on Bart and get to the makeout room uh, at eight p.m. for our show. It's eight dollars, and we're gonna be doing stand up and a bunch of other fun stuff. Gonna be super fucking fun. And this weekend, I'm gonna be at the Green Gravel Comedy Festival in Iowa City, Iowa, doing a picture this, and then I'm headed to New York for the first week of uh, March, and we're doing a picture this at Little Fields on three three. So come to those. Ooh, sweet. If you were in other places. And in, well, we can. <laughs> what i'm doing <laughs> yes barbara i'm doing the roast at uh, i'm doing roast battle at the comedy store on march 10th and i'm terrified so who come to you, that oh, and support who are me you roasting? Who are you um, roasting? ashley barnhill who's oh, like a okay. she's, she's a, a twitter comedian girl, right? from yeah she's from like texas from austin i think from and i'm Tejas. super scared and she's a very pretty skinny girl so i got nothing on her to start oh, with you have so much on her. <laughs> You so much. I'm so She's scared. So I've never no. been roasted. Oh, I thought you did it. a roast before. I've done them, but I've only been like she I've did never the iron been, chic. I've never been like the sole subject of you know what I mean. We are you're they're roasting you? We roast each other. It's just two of oh, us. Oh, it's just the two of you? Each other. It's yeah. a roast battle. Ah, God, so I wanna, I'm terrified. I want to come to this no, show. No, really it's bad. good yeah. that she's another girl. Because it's the guys no, it's, that are really they shitty usually, and Yeah, yeah. Um I would sorry. Have you met have you met with her to like No. I don't. I, don't I got, Are you supposed to do that? Some I don't know. Supposed I to. think it's difficult to roast someone you don't know. Yeah. I, but I almost would prefer that because I feel like I can be meaner, and also I don't think she can get me as bad because like she doesn't know uh-huh. me that well. If she listens to an, an episode, episode of this <laughs> podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> wow. So anyway, if you're in LA Tuesday, March 10th, please come to that because I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I don't fine. know. It might be getting in my March. Tentatively, it looks like I'm going to be in Minnesota. Minnesota seeing a concert version of my musical and then spending Ooh. a weekend in New York jail ideally. Yeah. Possibly. More on that later. That's all I can say. Yeah. What? I mean, okay. It might be happening. <laughs> all right. That would be great. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Um, our guest on the show today, delightful, hailing from Chicago, part Woo. of the Lincoln Lodge cast, Kristen Clifford, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Have you ever done a roast thing? No, uh, I'm. F- I would. I'm. I no. Chicago's yeah, real roasty though, to. right? Chicago Chicago's is. Real I roasty. tried to make yeah. a thing that no one wanted to do, but I was like, let's just have a brisket where we're all really tender. <laughs> oh, I like that. Other. We did that for Brandy for her birthday. Yeah, we yeah. did. We surprised Brandy with an anti-roast once, and it was yeah. real fun because she looked so scared, and then we all started saying nice stuff, and she was like, oh, "Okay, yeah, yeah." <laughs> I was like, "You guys could have just ruined ruined my night." <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> See, we we can't say mean things about Brandy. Yeah, yeah. I know. Is I'm fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's it's scary. I love I, I love roasts. I you love did a roast being for on your them. Birthday. I love yeah. Doing, yeah. I love it was great. I had never laughed so hard in my fucking life when everyone yeah. called me a whore and a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I had so much fun. <laughs> I loved it. Oh man, I love writing roast jokes. Yeah, those are really fun. See, yeah, I think I'd be really good at writing roast jokes. Yeah, so. well, you got to be yeah. able to take it though. I can take it. I'm fine. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I what think anybody I can, but I don't know if I can. I don't yeah. give a shit what anybody thinks about me. So yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, it's so flattering. It, it, yeah. They're flattering, even when they're mean. If it's a well-written joke, it's like, wow, you sat there like in your you bedroom and you worked on this for yeah. me. The one thing I was talking to Alex Hooper about it because he's done it a few times, and yeah. he told me that the one thing that hurts the most because you're ready to kind of like get some shit yeah but the worst thing is when somebody's like oh you look like this and you see everyone in the crowd realize it and start oh. laughing he said that's oh. the worst i was like oh yes. god that's accurate so i, I will be that. 
going on a diet, but no, that'd be so such a fucking stupid thing to do. <laughs> I mean, it gives you a goal date. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does. So <laughs> I'm gonna show up in my uh, in my glitter my sequin dress. Yeah, just wear yes. spanks. Just <laughs> just a giant spanks. You know, yeah. my sister when she before high school dances used to do that thing where she would wrap herself in saran wrap and work out. Yeah, I've you, that actually works. You, it actually does work. I feel like it'd be funny because I've done a thing a few times where I've drawn like a st- face on my stomach. Yeah, what yeah, if yeah. I did or that and it. roasted her with that for a few? Well, <laughs> well that'd be funny. Yeah. I like think a, be, a yeah. tummy puppet? Yeah. yeah. yeah that actually like, might be funny. I well, like that because like they won't be expecting it. And no. what's she going to do? Because the thing is, if you call it out. And yeah, yeah. If you like, if you, you call take all out the power something they might roast about you. Yeah. So I should, maybe I'll do that for a few and just be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. I think it's you should do that and then have a sock puppet that looks like a trash sandwich. Boom. Yeah. What, does she, what does she have? Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Touché. I should do, maybe I'll do that and be like, it, I'll draw it like as her ex-boyfriend. Who's oh, that's funny. Her. Oh, that's That'd good. be really funny. <laughs> do you know her ex-boyfriend? No, I'll just make one up. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll be like, it'll be like him saying it so I won't yeah. feel as mean. But like, <laughs> I ate a sandwich out of a trash can, but at least I didn't date a piece of trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Huzzah. Boom. Boom. All right, cool. That way, yeah. I feel good. Now yeah. I feel better. I'm going to do the stomach thing. Hopefully she doesn't listen to this one and know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, we'll delete awesome. all of that. <laughs> Edit that part out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We'll fix that in post, right, guys? <laughs> uh, Most nasal trap. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to do also a lot of cocaine. That's true. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It's the comedy story to do is breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a weird thing happen to me. I went to the dentist a few days ago and... He was a new Congratulations, denti- by the way. Thank you so much. Yes, there you go. Thank you. That's a great feeling. It's, the thir- it's like yeah. the fourth one I've been to in like six months because I keep t- hoping they'll all tell me something different that Aww. I don't need to get a lot of work done. No. Um, but he was really like f- too friendly and no. he was in there like doing whatever. And he was like, you have a- you have beautiful teeth. Wow. I wish I had teeth as beautiful as you. And I was like, this That's is weird. Yeah. Weird. And yeah, a little strange. too much. Like, yeah. Ew. Was this a group on dentist? No, he was like recommended from friends. Okay, so. I don't like this for several reasons. <laughs> yes. First of all, you ha- do have a beautiful smile. Yeah. But like he's a dentist. Like he must see a lot he of teeth. He didn't see a beautiful smile. He said beautiful teeth, Ugh. which is weird, much weirder. Yeah, and like I feel like even if he thinks that, like you must learn in dental school to have a certain level of professional decorum. Yeah. I don't like it. You should be like, oh, I bet you say that to all the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it felt like. Yeah. It was Don't definitely strange. I hate fake compliments. Yeah, like, it was I so fake, this. and it was just like, what? Like yeah. he was being all fake? things to like lavish praise on. Right? Yeah, yeah. Teeth, like you have wa- been walking around waiting to hear. <laughs> yeah, wait, you guys, just your teeth off. It was just yeah. really weird. This is reminding me. What do you guys? Can you analyze my dream really quick? Yes. Yes. What do you? Last got? night I had a dream that I was able to look into my own mouth, and when I looked down, it was a garbage disposal. <laughs> <laughs> What uh, a dream. I think you know exactly what that means. <laughs> uh, what does that I mean, oh, that's I mean, not that know, weird. No, Aren't our kidding. mouths kind of garbage disposals anyway? Yeah. Okay, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all eating is just putting food in a hole in your yeah, face. Yeah, we're just yeah. And then grinding it up and it's pooping weird. it out. So maybe yeah. it's just literal. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all it is. Or maybe mm. you feel like you've been eating not as... Have you been eating your own words too much? Maybe, maybe. you're not speaking oh, your mind enough. Oh, maybe that's it. You know what I bet? I bet because you're training for the marathon. Yes. Are you eating like a hundred percent well for like what you need to be doing? You're doing okay. The Super Bowl didn't fuck you up at all. No, I barely ate on Super Bowl. Okay, all right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm eating pretty healthy on Super Bowl. I just went with beer. (laughs) Yeah, I did right right. right before I passed out in a poncho. (laughs) um, I did (laughs) realize that I hadn't um, eaten anything all day, and then I I think I ate like three of Scott bowser's uh pretzels, pretzels and yeah. then i pass out you know one of those like mexican ponchos yeah yeah i yeah. passed out not in a g-string oh tess i know where were your pants that sounds really comfortable <laughs> it was <laughs> they were next to me in bed oh, oh okay. okay yeah yeah <laughs> awesome yeah so he said that and i was a little like all right dude i don't know what the situation is yeah and then um i was leaving and his, i was talking to his wife who's the receptionist mm-hmm. and she and oh, like, that's weird too yeah, yeah but whatever she was really sweet okay. but they kind of glommed on to the fact that i was from salt lake and started telling me about skiing <laughs> and i was like i have nothing to say yeah were they trying to make you a sister wife i <laughs> yeah i was just like i don't have anything to say about skiing I don't, whatever yeah but she kind of was like he was like oh she's from salt lake and so she starts talking to me about skiing uh. and she was like something like 
oh yeah, we our friends would go up to snowboard and they would all come down at once and you'd see all these people come down and because they were Japanese, our friend would be like, oh, the yellow horde is coming. And I was what? like, whoa. Ah! whoa. <laughs> Bye. And I was like, I've never been, I've never like yeah. dealt with somebody who just like, you know. Don't be <laughs> fucking racist, assholes. Towards your, wow. Yeah, towards your own race. It was Casual really Casual racism and a weird trophy attitude towards your team. Oh, so yeah. they're Japanese? Yeah. They're Japanese. Okay, I feel like it's oh. fine. Oh, oh sorry. Did I, I didn't you say didn't that. Say you didn't say that. Didn't say that no. Oh, okay. They're Japanese, okay. but yeah. so I've never dealt oh. with. But also, like. Oh, then I think that's fine. It's fine, <laughs> but it also puts you in a weird position because you can't be like, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just kind of like, okay. <laughs> yeah, like you can't. You'd be like, me and my uh, beautiful teeth will be leaving now. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to. Sorry. The, the white horde is leaving. Yeah. yeah. Oh, white, just like me. See you later. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's that's rough. Don't go see him again. <laughs> I think I have to. I've been to too many. I got to settle down. You yes! know? <laughs> settle been, it's time to sew your dental I've oats. been fucking around too long. <laughs> well, have you at least in this process, like, found the one? No, but I wouldn't yeah. be going to a new one. Don't settle on a dental. You were going because you wanted one. a different answer. Did you like it? Yeah, any no, of the, the other ones were weird too because they were Groupon ones and they were weird. This one, this one I went to was right when I was like in the height of my like watching a shitload of Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> and I went and his office was like deteriorating and dirty and and obviously you shouldn't want that anyway. But like my standards were like oh, yeah. I was like your place is disgusting and like <laughs> I was just like. Ugh, like I would never. Where's my Garfield poster on the ceiling? Ex- yeah, yeah, it was just it was gross and. Uh. Uh. Okay, speaking of Groupon, do you think that you can trust a Groupon bungee jump? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I would look up Yelp reviews. For yeah, them. okay, that's yeah, always yeah. my thing. Groupon Yelp. Yeah. Okay. It is so sad how many like opinions of yeah. like shitty things I read every day. But well, you it's can important. get a refund within three days. Ooh. As long as you're not dead. That's true. For yeah. anything. Uh, oh, not if you go, but like if you if you like buy it and then you find like. Have you bungee jumped before? I mean, I'm assuming yes. No. Ooh. I'm, gonna pop my, I'm gonna pop my bungee cherry. Bungee scares me more than, than uh, skydiving. skydiving. So it should. It's yeah. more dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I want to try it though. I've always wanted to try it. And this this Groupon one that I found, you go bungee jumping in Angels National Forest. Okay. So it looks really cool. Like it'll be in a really pretty area. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, my only concern is if any of our listeners have gone bungee jumping, feel free to email and let us know about this. Uh, but uh, I just... What the fuck are you about to say? I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I literally have no idea. Well, it's not that crazy. I, I just want to make sure... Like, obviously, I, I'm aware of like the inherent risk of like smashing to death. But, uh, yeah. but uh, like, do you get even... You get whiplash? Whiplash, because with my running and stuff, I don't want to be, like, oh, injured yeah, and right. sidelined. So, if that's, like, a pretty common injury, I think I'll wait till after the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait till after the marathon to bungee jump. <laughs> <laughs> that can be your treat to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do a thing where maybe you start with a bungee during the marathon, and oh. somehow that's how you... <laughs> It'll get, get you a couple get miles running. down the road. Oh, yeah. I'll kick everyone else's asses. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think you want more of a, a catamaran or a sling, not a, not a catapult or a slingshot. Mm. Like, Ooh, catapult. Yeah. And maybe I wear roller skates. Yeah. Yeah. So not running a marathon. Okay. Can yeah, that's just, true. Rolling, yeah. rolling a marathon. <laughs> yeah. You catapult. Okay. So here's the plan. There's two catapults. <laughs> yeah. There's you in one and then there's sled dogs in the other one. Yeah. And you have a thing connected to them. You're wearing roller skates. You both get catapulted. Uh-huh. The dogs land. You run. You, yeah. They pull you. I like every <laughs> single part of that. Yeah. Every aspect Dog, of that Somebody great. can make Catapult, that happen. Yes. That's mm-hmm. the next Super Bowl halftime show. Come on, science. Seriously. Figure it out. Seriously. <laughs> there needs to be more extreme sports in the Super Super Bowl halftime show. I agree. I agree with that a lot. That'd be cool. Yeah, that lion should have been <laughs> yeah. snowboarding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What um, uh, would it be harder to roller skate twenty six point two miles or run twenty six point two? I think run, run for sure. Well, I don't know, like hills and stuff. I feel like I'd get tired. Hills, I would probably if I it's was different muscles too. It's like more in your quads yeah, the whole time. Yeah, you just go so much faster. Yeah, yeah you have yeah, wheels helping you. I mean, that's anytime true. there's wheels involved, you have an advantage. Yeah, guys, that's think true. about the first wheel. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm done been. thinking about it. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Gore pet all the ladies going in the yeah. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Watch it roll. Well, because he could show up to their places earlier and yeah. rape them first. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember how terrifying the wheelies were in Return to Oz? No. Did you see that movie when movie. you were little? You guys uh-uh. didn't see Return to Oz when you were younger? No. I read all the, the books. 
So okay, in the books, did they about. have the wheelies? Yeah. And then the, the room with all the heads that were like, Dorothy Gale. You guys got to see that movie. Tim Burton mm-hmm. directed yeah, that. They are pretty you, spooky. All yeah. I think when you say mm-hmm. wheelies is those sneakers that have wheels on the back. <laughs> they were almost oh, as yeah. scary as those. <laughs> I hate a little kid that just zips past you. You're like, hey, shitty ghost. What are you doing? Get away from me. <laughs> it is weird because they're so hidden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how come adults didn't ever get into those? I think those are kind of like I know a, a few good. adults who got them. Richard Bain just had some randomly really? and all of a sudden was zipping huh? everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have seen adults wearing wheelies, but I don't know. They would. I think they would scare me too much c- being too far from the ground. Like, it's, it's the fear of falling. No, wheelies not, though, because those are just the ones with the built-in... Yeah, I feel like I would, like, fall backwards. Oh, like, yeah. I don't, like, the physics of it kind of stresses me out a little bit. We might have to test this out. <laughs> all right, well, let's Somebody all... send us some wheelies. Yeah, send us some wheelies, wheelies and tell me if you got hurt when you Size went bungee seven jumping. seven and a half. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yes, please. <laughs> Kristen, so you've been to L.A. before. Is there... I have. What do you... Have you seen any weird shit? Did you go to the Museum of Jurassic Technology or anything? No, um, this time around I just pretty much have been just hanging out, but... Um, I mean, I haven't seen anything weird this time. I had an amazing day yesterday where I just took a nap and mm. a cat laid on my stomach and yes. oh, petted my face. Yes. Yes. It was beautiful and wonderful. That's all you ever want. It was all I'd ever wanted. That's okay. seriously worth flying for. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I like, I don't know. I've been to like last, a couple other times I've been here, I've been to like the walk, the, the stars to see the walk of fame, Oh God. Et yeah. The yeah. stars are so depressing because yeah. it's just so gross over there. Yeah. It is. It's like, yeah, it's definitely like, oh, this is just yeah. touristy. Oh my God! Speaking of Randy Quaid, oh god, I uh, didn't get to see the movie before it got taken down. <sighs> it's oh, it's still online. It's not really on YouTube though. Well, we can find it. Okay. We'll, wa- we'll watch we'll it. It's it. I want to watch it. Insane. It's super sad. He's really mentally ill. Because I I saw something where like there's a picture of him holding his star from the yeah. you know, Hollywood <laughs> Walk of Fame. So yeah, I yeah, think yeah. of it, but. Man, he, it's like him, it's, okay, so he's, like, up near the camera, and then his wife is sitting in sunglasses, like, laying in a back all sexy, like, right behind him. In, like, what looks like a crack den. It's, like, yeah. a weird, shitty in room. in silence. She says nothing. Ugh. And then, so I don't know what he talks about. He talks about all these movies he made and how Rupert Murdoch still owes him money for them. Yeah, oh he, well, because, like, his whole thing is he thinks that, like, TMZ is trying to get him and the people that killed, um... Philip Seymour Hoffman. He thinks that people like these are the all conspiracies. That killed, right. Yeah, he thinks that like the pe- like uh, what's her name from um, from Clueless. Like th- there's several stars Brittany that Murphy. he thinks were all killed by the same person, and he thinks really that they're we coming- don't know what happened to Brittany Murphy. Yeah. I just want to put that out. There. Well, I know, no, I know. that was mysterious. Yeah, yeah, but like he thinks that they're coming after him, so that's why he fled to Canada. And right. he was wearing the Hawaiian shirt that he wore when he saved the world for in Independence Day. <gasps> oh, I didn't get that part. Oh, yeah, no, he's wearing the Hawaiian shirt. And he has, like, a big crazy beard. And he's obviously reading a manifesto from a computer screen in front of him. And then he's like, um, well, Rupert's trying to fuck me. Well, guess what? I'm going to fuck you, Rupert. And then he pulls out a piece of paper with Rupert Murdoch's face on it. And he brings his wife forward. And he puts the mask, puts Rupert the mask on, on her. her. And she's, like, doggy style staring directly into the camera. And he gets behind her and simulates but i don't know how simulating it is uh yeah. sex with her from behind he spits on his, his hand, hand which is like that part i like wanted to die so oh, butt to sex die. yeah yes yeah spits <laughs> his hand and like starts like either fucking her or humping her from behind <laughs> and then he yells hey i'm back like he does in independence day and that's the end of the video um and it's brilliant like, <laughs> it's a it new is, web series it episode is. one yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happens next a, it is some dark shit he was all over the internet when that happened so he was back b great double <laughs> entendre coming from the back and being back c oh, yeah. great performance art <laughs> d i love the independence day reference it's fascinating i mean yeah. i'll say that but it, you just feel bad he's just he's legitimately so off the deep end. wait he's very schizophrenic he has, his brother dennis quaid dennis mm-hmm. Which can you remind me who Dennis Quaid is again? He's Dennis Quaid, Parent he Trap, uh, Parent Trap. He's in uh, the what? right, the right <laughs> stuff. It's he always was funny in... to think of what comes to mind. First. <laughs> yeah, I watched he... Parent Trap a lot in wasn't high school because we were like, he's a hot dad. I have a really that dragon. Yeah, Dennis movie? Quaid is like kind of hot, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, like, he's, he's hot, he's and he's cute. normal. Yeah, he's well, pretty he's funny. fine. I so saw him. He was on Ellen once. Where he went into a coffee shop and she was feeding him lines and he goes, he just was like, Dennis Quaid is here. And the, oh, yeah, the that coffee was funny. shop was like, what? He makes a lot of movies that are like called like Beneath the Darkness. He's and- like Bill Paxton, but not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I was thinking. Of. Yeah. Like how, how, I don't know, I guess it's hard. I mean, I guess at a certain point, ah, what can your family really do? But 
Yeah, you can't. I know. I mean, Randy Quaid's way far gone. No, There's he's just, he's legitimately really crazy. Yeah. It's just so crazy to like see it play out. F- very few people have that play out publicly. Yeah. No, exactly. We watched. Or we that were, like we're we were watching that, and then we watched the Garth Brooks Facebook video. What? I have, you know I love Garth Brooks. Okay, I haven't seen we'll, this. we'll have I to seen we'll that. play it when we come back from the break. We'll have to play it because it is the funniest thing I've ever. Really? Oh my god, it's I love Garth psychopathic. Brooks. Psychopathic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we'll be right back. So we've been watching slash listening to the Randy Quaid video. Yeah. Well, we're going to play the end of it now, just in case you haven't had the pleasure. uh, Let's listen to the rest of this. So, Rupert, you want to fuck me? I'm going to fuck you. So this is when he puts a mask on (laughs) his wife. Put this on. She's she's silent the whole time. She says nothing. Yeah. She's sitting there in sunglasses and a bikini. Also, they could have at least cut the mask out of paper. Maybe you'll thank me for this. Yeah, craft a little yeah. bit. <laughs> oh, so oh. oh, God. But consider it, at least. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so upset. Oh, yeah, then a oh, dog. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Then a dog comes in and just barks the whole time. Oh, together, Rupert. Oh, my yeah. God. Together, Rupert. Okay, all right. Okay. Together, oh, together. we'll wipe out police media corruption. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, Rupert. So yeah, I'm okay. back. All right, I'm back. Okay, that's the enough. dog barking is amazing. I oh, forgot wow. about the dog. Oh, Jesus, that's something going that on. That is upsetting. Also, um, I feel like we have a new. Uh, I have a new alarm tone. <laughs> oh I'm back. back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I forgot. As soon as they start like fake doing it, hopefully yeah, this hope dog right. comes to the side, it just this starts German barking. shepherd and just starts barking. <laughs> yeah. at oh my god! It's just, it's just like, it's mental illness on display, and it really bums me out. Yeah, it's yeah. really sad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like Charlie Sheen was bad, but this is like even even further i think he had like bi- a bipolar mania break and this is like schizophrenia oh yeah. definitely yeah. definitely although i will say yeah obviously charlie sheen is mentally ill we've talked about this before but like yeah. um there i still quote charlie sheen quotes from his manic phrase like when i need yeah. to inspire myself <laughs> like when I'm, when I'm really tired and i just need to bring it i'm just like tiger blood baby i am on a drug and it's called tess barker <laughs> 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 okay, you do that. No, come on, it's really inspirational. Ti- why is tiger blood inspirational? Because it's like you, you're not normal. You, you're like super normal. You have tiger blood. You're super normal. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sorry, somebody started. Uh, Sorry, there's a lawn, leaf so. blower here. Yeah, it's oh, either a leaf blower or it's the PMC. I feel like Randy yeah. Quaid heard us. I know. Yeah, that that was was a his video. Oh my god! What if we went outside and it was just Randy Quaid shirtless on the riding mower? <laughs> I would. Or cry. if it's the aliens. Oh my god! From it's from TMZ's Independence coming Day. to get us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we heard that. Let's hear the uh, Garth Brooks one because this one is not as not crazy in the same okay. vein. But it's just Garth Brooks being a weirdo. Okay. Introducing everybody to his Facebook page, <laughs> basically. Bless. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about this at the start. Oh, my God. Then I a friend of him. mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. <laughs> she said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. <laughs> it allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case... The hotel room. <laughs> when I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. Oh my god! But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Because <laughs> it's just who I am. Oh my, god. oh my god! So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so oh cheap. my god! Cool, slick, neat, raw. Oh, I'm god, mostly right. going to post <laughs> raw <laughs> stuff like this. What? When I think about the stuff I want to post, I want to post cool stuff. Cool Slick stuff. stuff. Oh my god, cool. he's so cute. It's the most dad, it's like such a dad, thing. famous, Holy super famous, Holy. rich dad who doesn't know what the fuck. They're yeah, doing. yeah. I love that it's like Facebook's been around for eight or nine years, and he's like, "Guess it's time." Somebody's <laughs> told me about this. It's a way to have a conversation. So I say, 
Let the conversation <laughs> begin. <laughs> or in my case, hotel rooms. I like that little <laughs> sad kind of note. Yeah. There. yeah. My kids won't friend me, so <laughs> I'm just going to friend everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be laughs> if you've heard from Tommy, please tell him I'd like to watch the game with him this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing Garth Brooks post on his friend, his kids' walls. Oh like, yeah. Oh. It's oh like, man. hey, text me back. Yeah, is, yeah. He, is he going to be real? like one of those parents who like doesn't know the difference between writing on a wall and posting a status update? Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. He definitely does. Or he he'll be like does. searching for someone and it'll post it as a status. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like Kim Basinger. I don't know why. That was yeah. my Kim first. Basinger. I can just see him jerking off to her forever. Oh. <laughs> okay. I can't wait for Chris Gaines to join Ello. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Chris Gaines has been on social media for Is like Ello years still, now. That's true. Did that? I forgot about that. They're still emailing still, me. I They're still emailing me. No one, like, I, yeah, it was like the thought ish for a second. And then just yeah. don't. Well, then we don't have time. No, I mean, none of us like Facebook, but there we are. Yeah. yeah that's just where yeah. we are. It's just, it's fine. just yeah. too, it's been around for too long. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, let's play a little game. You want to play a game, Kristen? Sure. All right, we're going to play Would You Rather. <laughs> Question is: Would you rather give up cheese or give up oral sex? Oh fuck! Uh, receiving, I'm assuming, or give it, or giving. <laughs> um, Both. I would it, rather give up cheese because you know probably do me better anyway. Yeah, mm. yeah, I think it's better. Oh god, yeah. Is I that just cheese. dairy cheese? Can I have like? Oh yeah, can we have cashew cheese and stuff? Yeah, you guys are fine. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's really going to make it vegan different. cheese. Yeah, if I can have <laughs> vegan cheese, I would give up cheese. Uh, I think it's all cheese across the board, including vegan cheese. The including? idea, w- what cheese serves in your life? Yeah, no cheese. No Actually, cheese. I might give up oral. I mean, oral sex is fine, but it's not like the end of the world to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I kind of prefer- finger bang. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. As long as there's finger bang. As long <laughs> as there's good old F balestin. Yeah, because yeah. oh, I like boy. to eat cheese and get finger bang. <laughs> oh my so. god, that sounds so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you just imagine, like, uh, just like a. A nacho cheese fountain in one end, and then just like you're getting finger blasted on the other end. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> okay, question. Finger blasted is like a term that's come into vogue as of the last few years. I don't like is it. There a I don't like it either. But is there a difference between finger blasting and finger Wait, let's banging? back up. Finger blasting is definitely an eighth grade term. I never Not heard it. Not to me. I've never heard it in before the Maybe last like, five two years. Or, yeah. Maybe because you guys moved to California. Maybe it's a California But Kristen, term. what about you? When did you start hearing? I it? started hearing about it. There, it's it's become popular. The Potter Bus sisters say it a lot. Oh, okay, but um, like only in the last like few years, right? I yeah. didn't remember it before that. Oh it's yeah, like, we've been blasting for decades here. <laughs> I mean, it's like okay. gnarly. <laughs> I want to know the <laughs> that is like gnarly between yeah. finger blasting and finger. I always bang. just thought it was the same. It's the same. Be honest. Yeah. But like, I maybe I guess I like pictured a finger blast as being like a really good finger bang. Yeah, it's a well done mm-hmm. finger bang, like a, like a solid. See, I'm not bang. crazy about either term because I feel like it teaches young boys. It's like too aggressive for what young yeah, boys and that think is they the need worst. to do. You yes. don't want to do that. Jabbing. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's the worst. Yeah, girls yeah. just deal with it in horrified silence for years because that's what they think they're supposed to do, and then it's like, no, 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 no that's not it. Yeah. So that's why I don't like either term because it just feels like the, the worst fuck? part of high school. <laughs> what do you like? Just finger. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, this I is guess. I just hate the word finger involved in it at all. It grosses me out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your fingers out of it. Yeah. Um, here's no, a, but put your fingers in it. Description. <laughs> <laughs> here's a description from Urban Dictionary of finger banging. Okay. When you finger a girl and really get your whole torso into it, lifting and slamming her up and down on the bed until no. she has a riveting orgasm. No one wants that. Until she fakes a riveting orgasm. Yeah. She wants you to stop. Wow. A good finger Fing- banging is like a very quiet situation. <laughs> yeah. Finger <laughs> banging. <laughs> finger banging yeah. is another word for fingering a girl's pussy. Yeah. Example. Yes. My girlfriend and I were finger banging last night. Yeah. No. <laughs> what a more boring sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, what? And also, it doesn't say what happened. You no, haven't been doing anything. Like, yeah. It's, that's like the lame, like, when you have to write a sentence with every word and you're, like, not wanting to do your homework. Yeah. yeah that yeah. shows yeah. no yeah. context. Like, yeah. by, that defi- by that context, it could mean eating something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's finger blasting is the same as finger yeah. banging. Oh. 
Yeah, those are my issues with the term. I feel uh, like it's it's a good thing for like watching a movie in high school with like a bunch of people and like you just can't handle it. I mean, I'm trying to think of an instance when I've like used finger banging or blasting literally. Mm hmm. Since I was younger, what? like I don't think I've—I mean, I don't think I've ever like said to my friends. Since, maybe when I was like a teenager, but like since being an adult, I don't think I've been like, yeah. I mean, he fingered me. I just would Ugh. be like, we hooked up. Or, I hate that sentence so much. I don't. It just like that. Yeah, it just bothers me. It's just icky. <laughs> like I, I, I very like I. It's very uh, fingered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Would, have you ever like described something as like he fingered me as an adult? I think so. When it's been that that happened. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't say it. I just don't think I have. Yeah, it's yeah. generally not something to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ain't valid. nothing to fuck with. You know, like That's as valid. an adult, it's like, okay, well, it's a thing that happened for a minute, and then it was over. Great. Yeah, it's like a qualifying <laughs> thing. Like, if someone's like, oh, did you have sex? And you're like, nah, but he, like, fingered me or whatever. That's true. Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess that's when you say it. Yeah. yeah. When, you, when you need to clarify. But, like, also, yeah, as adults, I feel like nobody, everyone realizes that's not that fun. Yeah. yeah. Ain't even fingering. Rubbing on the outside might be okay, but actually inserting, like, multiple times yeah. is, like. No, all these just words are so fuck. gross. Just inserting. <laughs> Uh, all right all right okay so i think okay i think i'm gonna god i really like oral sex though yeah you gotta choose (sighs) not as much as i like regular hey god never again never again or no cheese but not even vegan cheese not even vegan cheese these both sound so awful see as a vegetarian i feel like you have to choose oral sex because cheese is like a big part of your your it's thing. not. I don't eat off cheese cheese. for a while yeah i i kind of don't eat as much cheese as i used to huh okay i've gone like more on the vegan side yeah um but i eat a lot of vegan cheese yeah i think i'm gonna go <sighs> i mean the crowd awaits <laughs> sorry it's <this is> really <laughs> a hard decision <laughs> i know these are like okay two of your loves i'm gonna give up cheese yeah yeah and keep, oh. and keep and keep the oral sex all right well yeah this you're welcome guys this wasn't just a question we <laughs> Are taking away your cheese for the rest of your life. <laughs> this was an actual. <laughs> I'm gonna need all of your God receipts sent moving us here. forward. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Yeah. I vote. What I vote? Cheese. I don't remember. Are we all giving up cheese? Oral sex. I'll give up oral. Sex. Uh, I give up oral sex. I think I gave up oral sex. Oh wait. So I'm the only one who gave up cheese. Yeah. 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 All right. I wouldn't give up giving it though. Yeah. I. I don't. If you had to choose one, you wouldn't give up giving. Wait, well, no, no, would no. Would you rather I'm... give up? Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather give up giving a blowjob or receiving oral sex? Last I'd rather question. give up receiving oral sex because I like I like it more. I like giving a blowjob more than I like receiving oral sex. Really? really? Same. Even when it's really it's really good, but I ju- it's just not my wow. bag that much. Interesting. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I much. like giving head a lot, but like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, come on. Hey, waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's see would you rather have legs as long as your fingers or oh. have fingers as long as your legs <laughs> <laughs> this okay. one's real dumb uh, let me think okay so that would mean two tiny very little tiny finger legs or have two or or That's five like very long um I think I would rather have fingers along my legs because that's kind of yeah. like a superpower almost. I yeah, agree. And there's a way so to too. make that hot, I think. But that would be hard to do everything. How would you, like, <laughs> type? You'd have to, like, be really far away from the computer. Your yeah. biceps would get super jacked, though. Oh, that's You'd true. You'd have that's really true. great upper body strength. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and if each of your fingers is that long, they would ostensibly have the power of your legs, right? Yeah. So would you be super strong? Mm. Oh, you could open so many Yeah, you jars. could, like, kick so many people's asses just by, yeah. like, flicking <laughs> at them. You just do squats with your fingers. Really finger blast somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. You could, pr- well, you could pick, make so much money. You could just be on, like, TV, like, kicking everybody's yeah. ass with. That would be cool. I mean, that seems like the only way to go because then you still have your long, pretty legs. Yeah. I mean, who wants finger well, legs? It would take so long to get anywhere with yeah. tiny legs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No, I don't want I'm picturing that. kind of like SpongeBob. Well, no. Even smaller. Yeah. Yeah, you basically look like a pillow person. But wait a minute. Yeah. But wait a minute. But wait yeah. a minute. Can't you just get prosthetic legs, though? But that's not you the can't. point. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's Why? Just like a, a, I was thinking that, too, because I was like, well, I would just get my finger leg, my leg fingers, like, chopped off and, like, heal them up. Can't do that. That's true. But then I'm like, it's like an irrefutable. It's like a, a immovable situation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. Okay. If I can get prosthetic, I mean, yeah, I think you obviously have to go leg you fingers. Have, yeah, you can go leg fingers. Yeah. Yeah, you can't go tiny legs. Yeah. I'm just trying to picture that. It's so weird. 
I'm picturing like you know like when some people have those really really long fingernails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm picturing. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. It's so gross. But yeah, but they're like. <laughs> but you would have like you would have like your um like your knuckles and stuff that they could bend, so it wouldn't be like not straight. Yeah, hands. no, there would be fingers. Yeah, it'd be kind of like Edward Scissorhands, but yeah. with <laughs> a little fingers. bit. Which is all the we listen to be Cure. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. It works for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like fingers. Okay, here's a fun one. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Your face. She looks distraught. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you guys rather have explosive diarrhea oh boy. for the rest of your life or eat a big bowl of poop once? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, judging of most guys that I know, they seem to be doing totally fine just having explosive having diarrhea all the time. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> I don't think any guy has ever had a solid I think I can handle the, I can handle the diarrhea thing if it's fucking true. Oh, it's very true. <laughs> no, yeah, what is wrong with everybody? How do they just do that? I didn't realize until you said that just now what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I know James has a it's joke about it. He has a really funny joke about like Tony Hawk, and then it, he's like, "I wonder." He just talks about how he's like, "Yeah, I wonder if in my girlfriend's guest bathroom, I just fucked that thing up. Like, I just have two iced coffees and the banana, and that's all." Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Eat food. <laughs> Psychopaths so don't have. They just constantly just have diarrhea. They're like dogs. <laughs> They are. They just eat whatever's like put in front of them. <laughs> they don't put two and two together. Like, <laughs> my friend just texted me that he gave himself diarrhea because he drank like a whole thing of Overwise chocolate milk. <laughs> For, like, a what chocolate, chocolate milk? Overwise chocolate milk. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I I bought. Um, <coughs> also, yeah, they're not shy about sharing it. No, 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 no. no. I don't care. Yeah, but it's like yeah. <laughs> I bought these. Um, they were like superfood chips, like a couple, oh, like a yeah. month and a half ago. And Brendan ate the entire bag, and the next day he shipped fourteen times at work. Oh <laughs> he came home and he was like, "Don't ever buy those again." <laughs> I was like, or don't eat the whole thing. You <laughs> fucking fiber <retard>. chips. <laughs> they were fiber chips. He just ate all of them. <laughs> no. They went to bed at like six o'clock. <laughs> I mean, I will say, like, diarrhea once in a while can be fun, you know? (laughs) (laughs) The worst explain yourself. I don't know. Pooping can feel good, you know? Regular pooping. Yeah, no, bad diarrhea. But it's like the relief aspect of it is fun, you know? That's true. That's true. Like, it's gone. Maybe that's what they're into. They, like, really just, like, the least. So they're just constantly just drinking diuretics. Oh, Oh, God. And like I don't know, like once I know something gives me diarrhea, I can't eat it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like how do you eat something that I'll, you know? I feel you lucky too because I just don't. It doesn't really happen to me very often. So like yeah. I know a lot of people just have problems. But then even then, it's like, well, find the stuff that doesn't do that to yeah, you. Yeah. 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 How could yeah. you? Yeah. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, you have to answer the question: Have okay. explosive diarrhea? If, uh, if or eat I, a bowl of poop once? Uh, 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 explosive diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, I choose. I, spe- I mean, I couldn't. I don't know if I could do it if it was twenty four hours a day. Like if I, if you well, ha- assume it's your regular bowel movement schedule, but with but with diarrhea. <laughs> <Okay>. yes. <laughs> I mean, you would probably lose weight. That's true. Yeah. You would lose a lot of weight. Whereas if you ate poop once, but you'd I have to be constantly drinking water because you'd be so dehydrated. Yeah, that's all true. The time. Yeah. But that would also be great for your skin. It's good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> question. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, Kristen. <laughs> Does like everyone know that you ate a bowl of poop if you choose the poop oh. option, or is it like a secret thing that you just oh, have to I, do? Because I, mean, I feel like if you ate a bowl of poop and everybody knew about it, then you would just forever be like, "That girl's yeah. crazy. She ate a bowl of poop." Yeah, <laughs> like, that's true. I feel like also that you would be giving yourself at least a day or two of explosive diarrhea yeah. from that poop. I can't. Yeah. The fact that every time we say "eat a bowl of poop," I'm gagging. Yes, means I that I can't I eat a bowl of poop. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. then I don't know. Yeah, I think I'd just get used to the diarrhea. I and also then you can eat whatever you want because you know you're going to get diarrhea all the time. That's true. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, this is a good science question that I'm sure you guys can answer. <laughs> so if you if you eat something and then you diarrhea it, did the calories not go into your system? No. no some of them did. I think they some do. do. Okay. Yeah. yeah you always do. absorb like some almost immediately. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it cuts down on the amount. 
Yeah. I, don't ask me. I'm not gonna answer. That. I also think if you ate a bowl of poop, like it, people <sighs> would see but it in your see, eyes. People, yeah. would, like you would. The thing is, yeah, like, yeah. you'd be a it changed change, person. It would change you forever. It'd be like murdering like someone. Would. You would feel it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, no coming just, back. I just keep being like, how big is the bowl? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's not a big And bowl. then, is it your poop or somebody else's? It has oh. to be yours, right? If it was like <laughs> cow poop or something, I feel is like, like an option. It. <laughs> it makes like it better. Seasoning of some kind. Like, there's a lot of questions. No. There's no seasonings. It's human poop. It's not yours. <laughs> it's room, it's this room, is so wrong. <laughs> room temperature. <laughs> it's room temperature. You can't, I mean, can't freeze it. How could you ever bowl. like even ask for a raise or a date with someone? Like knowing, <laughs> no, you could just walk into a forest and never come back. <laughs> 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 like the option, yeah, like that option would just make you a monster. Yeah, forever. Right. Yeah, there's no coming back from <laughs> eating a bowl of poop. No. Oh fuck. Explosive <laughs> diarrhea. It is. All right. Well, I'm glad we well decided well, on that. Again, this was not a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bowls. I of poop have all away. the bowls of poop ready. Yeah, but let's uh, oh, get rid of them. And we're all gonna go shit our faces off. We'll be back. I feel good. You feel like cleansed? Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys doing? I'm feeling fantastic. I'm doing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, All right. Well, you guys, we have, we're driving it home with this episode, which means it's time to close out with your favorite NARS. Mm Mm-hmm. Lady Problems. Lady problems. Lady problems. Lady problems. Never gets old. We've been listening to that for quite a long time, and it's still always my favorite. It's such a jam. I think it's my favorite too. Although I do, I like Fuck Mary Kill a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we yeah. haven't done that in a while. We'll have to yeah. do that soon. It's been a little bit. If you guys have any ideas for ones, we always love coming up with a weird new theme song. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Send yeah. them to Lady to Lady Send at MaximumFun.org. Shublam. Bam. All right, guys. This lady problem is a follow-up okay. from a previous lady problem. <clears throat> I'm the one whose ex-boyfriend accidentally said I'd love you, and then we ended up dating for another several months. Mm. After I heard your podcast while driving to his house after work, I decided to make some changes. I got a better job that kept me pretty busy over the summer, finally graduated, adopted a nine-year-old beagle, nice, joined a running group, and made some great friends. I turned 31, met a great guy online, and thought things were finally working out. Well, just two months in, he told me that he wanted to fuck a bunch of people. And instead of cheating on me, wouldn't it be better if we just weren't together? I was heartbroken. Mm. This was someone who I really thought I was going to live with and build a life with. Yes, typing this now, it sounds ridiculous since we'd only been dating for two months. This was around Christmas. And during New New Year's Eve, I ended up with another guy having a pretty fun night and had to have a friend pick me up from his place. I I felt like I'd been spinning out of control. Just when I finally feel like other aspects of my life are falling into place, job, friends, well, when it comes to my relationships, I feel like a train wreck. I've spent some more time with this New Year's Eve guy, and I really don't think it's going anywhere. He says he likes me, I tell him that I like him, but he's also slept with two other ladies since New Year's Eve, and he's planning on moving to Brooklyn at the beginning of the summer. Girl! Mm. Keep going. What's wrong with (laughs) having a bit of fun? (laughs) I don't have any expectations. Life isn't a movie, and I'm not the exception to the rule girl, and it's nice to be with someone that isn't making me promises I know he's not going to keep. Is this a disillusion? Do you think this will be blowing up in my face soon? Mm Mm-hmm. Ladies, (laughs) I need your help. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, um, it's you know it's been a little bit sno- since New Year's, so I'm not sure what's going on with yeah where you're at now. Uh, but well, it's a little confusing because a first of all, I totally understand where you're coming from sure. because this has been me many times. Yes, and I definitely felt like I was spinning out of control, hooking up with a lot of guys and not kind of really feeling great about it or whatever. Um, it really sucks about that guy you were with. I mean, I guess it's good he didn't cheat on you, but yeah, it was a weird. It's a weird way to break up with somebody. Just break up. Just don't break up. You yeah. Why, why do you even need to tell them? Yeah. That you don't tell people them? why. Yeah, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah. Two months in, too. You don't owe the, you know. No. Like, no. Yeah. I feel like that's like a way to be like, oh, but I'm a good guy. I want to fuck a bunch of people, exactly. but I'm a good guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. So, well, okay. It seems like I think there's a little confusion here because it sounds like 
you say you just want to have fun, but you're kind of expecting more from this guy than he wants to give you. Yeah. And we've all been there. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many times. Yes. So, yeah, I agree. I think that's the first thing to sort of suss out is whether you legitimately do you really just want casual sex? Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you honestly? Yeah. And if you feel like you're spinning out of control, that you probably want something more stable because yeah. you've gotten all the other parts of your life together. Mm-hmm. And this seems like the next step. But that's another pet peeve of mine is when guys are like, hey, this is how cool I am. I'm a yeah. going to make sure I'm going to tell you I'm fucking other girls. Fuck you. You know, yeah. that's going to hurt my feelings. And that mm-hmm. just shows that you don't respect me. And you're testing to see whether I don't respect myself enough to keep sleeping with you. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's very true. Because it's almost a dare to be like, oh, you're cool with this too, right? It's exactly. Like, well, no. <laughs> it's a really manipulative move. Yeah. Like yeah. you say, it's nice to be with somebody who isn't making me promises I know he's not going to keep. But that's so you're just giving him an out. Like. Yeah. You know, if yeah. he says that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and it sounds like she hasn't slept with anyone. That's her, true. Like, yeah. which, exactly. you know, not that you have to, but it sounds like you're kind of, you're dating him and he's not dating you. Yeah. That's a really good way of putting it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think, um, I mean, hopefully, I don't want this to blow up in your face and I hope it didn't. I'm sure perhaps, probably something's happened since you wrote to us and so yeah. we're sorry for, you know, taking a second, but, uh. Oh, boy. So what's the next step? I mean, I think that if you need to, yeah, really evaluate if you want a relationship. If you do, this guy mm-hmm. is not it. Because if a guy sleeps with other girls where you guys are going out, he he's not in it for a relationship. No. And um, tells you about it. It's one yeah. thing to be like, just so you know, right now I'm really not comfortable having a relationship. Right. You or know. like I'm dating around and whatever. You yeah. Know. But to give you a specific that. number. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's no, not no. necessary. Exactly. Yeah. So I would, yeah, A, figure out what you want. And it sounds like you want a relationship. It sounds like you sound just like me when I was like kind of nearing the end of my like crazy phase and I wanted a relationship, but I didn't know how to get it. So I just kept doing the same thing and I kept just kind of sleeping with guys and then hoping it turned into a relationship. Yeah. Doesn't usually work, (laughs) unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It works sometimes, but not most of the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I, I don't know. I just kind of tried to, the next guy... You know, I tried to wait until we had sex and that fared a lot better. Yeah. Um, so it depending on what's going on with this guy, you know, I would I would just be like, hey, I want this to happen or not with him if you're still seeing him. Yeah, I think that, OK, if this guy is like a hot piece of dick, fine. Like if you must keep him in your phone book, fine. Right. For an emergency. But know that he is only there to make you come. Yeah. yeah. And you were only to use him for that purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agreed. And, and make sure that you can actually make that promise to yourself with a person. Right. Like some yes. people just can't, you get, you're going to get emotionally connected to anybody regardless. Like some people can, some people can't. And yeah. that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah. 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 Like if you start picturing like going on dates with him, like if you're like, oh, if you drive by a cute brunch place and you're like, oh, I should take, no, nope, nope. you can never call him the again. La- the last yeah. guy, <laughs> exactly. I was, the last guy I, I was with before James that I kind of like date, pseudo dated, mm-hmm. we hung out a few times, we had sex, and then I just was like, I knew what I wanted. I wanted a relationship, and that's like what I was in mind for. And I kind of like freaked out and got like I invited him to something too early and then he acted kind of weird yeah and I just said straight up I was like hey I just want to know what's going on I really like want something more than just sex right now if you don't want that that's fine I just want to know we can totally be friends Mm -hmm. whatever and he said yeah I don't really I'm not looking for anything serious and I was like all right and then we're fine we're friends now and it's totally okay but I just said it and it made it so much better than me just like freaking the fuck out not knowing what he wanted and like Mm -hmm. you don't want to do that too soon but obviously you've been hanging out with this guy long enough it's Mm -hmm. definitely time to just put it out there and say what do you want i want this well yeah and he's having no problem being very frank with you right right so i think you Mm -hmm. just kind of gotta do that sometimes and then and then then that and i kind of just kept doing that like not scaring any guy away but just knowing what i wanted and just keeping that and trying to like make sure that matched yeah. up with the next person you know well i think that's a good way to do it because it's like i don't know i this sounds like morbid but i'm always like we're all gonna die like right. why mm-hmm. are we wasting time not being direct with each other yeah, yeah. i agree like I all the game point. bullshit yeah 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 exactly i mean you don't want to do it like two hours in but no like, yeah you don't want to <laughs> like be like i want to get married do you yeah, yeah. or whatever what's you know? like an appropriate amount of time do you guys think to like i, I have think that? like it's few, a few days yeah, yeah not four days. too late i think yeah. it, pretty early yeah, because mm-hmm. then what's the point? You're just going to be wasting each other's time. Yeah. Either, you know? Well, and I think it's easy. I don't think that people consciously articulate this thought, but I think it's easy to sort of s- almost subconsciously think that, 
well, I'll just like slowly trick them into falling in oh, love yes, with me. Oh, yes. I've done yes. that so many times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it usually does start from like having mm. sex first. And then, yes. well, you're and like, there is also this party that's like, oh, they're going to think I'm super cool. And then that's what's going to set me apart and make me Yeah, the like one if I seem like with. I don't give a shit, then they'll chase me or yeah. whatever. No. <laughs> All of these are ain't. Eh, nope. Yep. Nope. And I also think another thing that I know I did when I was single is, um, you're like, okay, th- I know this guy isn't worth anything, but I'll, he'll just, uh, he's my like distraction guy yeah, that I'll that, use yeah. to ride the wave into the next guy. And the problem is that doesn't work because no. the other guy is still caught up. Yeah. You're guy. still caught up with it. You're still watching your phone for texts from him. Mm, you're yeah. still hitting him up on Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. You have to like be conscious of what your own behavior and be like, how often am I texting this dude? How often am I thinking about him? Am I mm-hmm. relying on him for any sort of emotional support? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the ass then you've got to like evaluate that and be like, nah. Yeah. 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 And I mean, you know, I think it sounds like you've done really awesome. I mean, you've done a lot of cool stuff. You got a beagle. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yes. I know. Amazing. I love everything about your activities. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. I mean, it's going to be, you're going to meet like a cool dude who's into dogs and running. Don't mm-hmm. worry about yeah, it. Yeah. And you're, and a guy who, you yeah. know, is she's not, moving? is going to want to only sleep with you. She just moved recently. Oh, she just moved. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And like, don't be afraid to take some time, hang out with your girlfriends and just yes. get to know your new area. Like you don't need to rush into getting the boyfriend component taken care of. Too, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Send, and most importantly, send us a picture of your nine year old beagle. Because yes. please do that. We really need that. I yes. think sometimes you just have a bad day and we need a picture of a nine year old. Hey, <laughs> that goes for anybody listening. Send us your pets. Yes. yes. Send us your pet send pics. Send us your pet pics. We would love we'll, to see your We'll pets. Photoshop them and put them on our Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Definitely do that. Do that. <laughs> yeah. Send us your pets and we'll Photoshop. Or if you have, um, lady to lady if you have babies, you can send us pictures of your babies in funny outfits. I mean, I vote pets, but. You know what pictures we'll, of babies we'll, in cute outfits? We'll take your babies, but we really want your pets. <laughs> That's really you guys. <laughs> Tess will be in charge of the babies. Yeah. You like babies. I, lo- but I But I like looking at pets more. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, like, I, I like a toddler more than a baby. A I baby meant all a looks toddler. the same I meant to a me. toddler. Okay. Well, toddler. Yeah. Send us pictures of your toddlers. Yeah. And they're Just send us any. Just send us cute send things. Us some pictures. Cute things wearing sunglasses. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. I think, you know... You deserve more than you're giving yourself. Yes. I think is the important thing. You and you're kicking ass in a lot of other areas. Don't let a dumb guy get yeah. in your head. Sometimes you know? a lady that knows what she's worth is a little bit lonely, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what vibrators are for. That mm-hmm. happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just give some time for yourself. Figure out what you want, and then fucking go for it, and don't stop. And then, oh, P.S. Th- maybe this will help, like incentivize you. Um, I don't know if I use that word correctly, but uh. It's going to be really cool when you have, like, this rad boyfriend and then you run into this fuck. And oh, yeah. Like, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's definitely nothing better than, like, realizing that you just aren't yeah. don't have to deal with fuckwads anymore. Yes. Yes. Or whatever. You know, yep. that's a great moment. Yeah, so it's really in your feeling. future. I feel it. We believe in you. We believe in you. <laughs> we believe you can fly. Um, <laughs> but, so, that's it. That's yeah. it. Send us your lady where problems. Where can we find you uh, on the internet? Oh, uh, kristenclifford.com. If you don't know how to spell it, I bought multiple spellings, so it's okay. Did you really? Sure did. That's awesome. (laughs) That's smart. (laughs) uh, Twitter, it's at kristencliff, and it is Kristen with an I. Cool. And go check her out in Chicago. She does stand up all over the place, so... Yep. yep. Go check her out. And th- yeah, send us your lady problems at ladieslaymaximumfun.org. And tonight on Wednesday the 25th, if you're in San Francisco, come see us at the makeout room. 8 p.m. Let's We're do this. See y'all there. Finger blast you all. Okay, bye. <laughs>